to know why I love you so much. You think of this moment, okay? Because I know I will. The courage that you're showing me right now, being willing to walk right back in there after everything that happened, sweetheart, I really don't think that I could do it in your place. Well, I always thought that self-respect was overrated anyway. Come on. Enough of this. Let's go enjoy our engagement party, okay? Okay. Still, it's someone who said that Hart is Peter's father. I mean, it couldn't have been my Uncle Ed because he would have just taken me out of there by the hair. It wouldn't Bridget, have just it, the door it could have been like a lot of people. The worst case is if it was Roger. But if it was, we can deal with that. We'll find a way, okay? Dylan, where's Billy? Have you seen him? There you are. Can you believe what he did to my little girl, Nessa? I know, I know. Where's Mary? He was fussing and I told her to take a break. I'm the only one that can really calm him down. Right, Petey? Well, now I know why I couldn't find you. Has anything else happened? Besides the destruction of my daughter's beautiful celebration. Hmm. It's a good thing I've got my son in my arms, Thorpe. Where are you going? Find out if Roger's the one that heard you talking about Peter. Hey, Roger. Oh, come on. You don't want me to knock you down again, do you? No, no. No, I just want you to know that even though you ran me out of business, you're not going to get anything but a bunch of paper clips. I declared bankruptcy. You stopped me to tell me that? What else would I have to say? Oh, you and I are going to have lots to discuss one of these days, Sonny. Hey, there you are. You keep disappearing on me. I'm sorry, I just got tired of sitting inside. I needed to get some fresh air. Well, that's okay. Hey, are we all right with each other, Kat? Yeah? Why? I just get the feeling that you might be uh, a little bit upset with me. David, it's not you. I promise. I love you. I believe that. But you're not so wild about some of the other things that I'm doing these days. Well, just because I'm not excited about school this semester doesn't mean you don't have to be. No, but it would be a lot more exciting if I could look forward to doing it with you. Okay, then I'll work on my attitude. Hey, you're talking to me like I'm your father or something. This is me, Kat. What is it? I just don't understand why you're so excited about taking the SATs, entering college, and possibly joining the police academy. David, lately you've had so many career goals that I just can't keep track of them. Well, maybe I'm just trying to make up for a lot of lost time, Kat. I guess. So, you think I'm making a mistake? I don't know what you're doing, but I do know that you're concerned with things that you never even cared about before. Listen, I don't want to seem like I'm down on all of your big plans, but... Look, maybe I just need to shut up. No, no, no. I'm asking. Have you ever thought about why you're making all of these changes? Is it because you feel like you need to make up time for what happened this year? What do you mean? I know what happened with Vinny changed a lot of things. And I still think you feel guilty for his death, even though the judge proved you innocent. David... All I'm trying to say is if you feel that you need to prove yourself to people, you don't. Everyone knows why that happened. You don't need to go bending over backwards for something that's already been forgiven. Yeah, I know. Do you? Something about all of these plans reminds me of, of a person getting religion in jail or joining a monastery. Okay, so you really want to know what's bothering me. Are you doing all of this for yourself or are you doing it out of guilt for myself cat for us I, mean, I, I don't even think about Vinnie morrison anymore i mean that's that's all in the past I suppose you're real happy with yourself i felt like i had no control over my life at all and i didn't frankie just lying there and, and being tied up all i 
All I could do was miss you and Marina. Missing for an hour is not considered a missing person. Michael, I looked all over the ladies' room and the extra room, and I still can't find Aunt Alex. She probably just went home, and I don't blame her after the public flang that she got from Roger. Oh, you know, this is a nightmare. Roger was here, and now Bess is missing. Have you guys seen Joe in the last few minutes? No. No, I haven't. Oh, Bridget. where is he? engagement to announce. Wait, wait, wait. Billy's not here. Dylan's not here. The family's not here. Sorry, I ain't gonna tempt fate for one moment. <laughs> I'm gonna give these brave young uns the spotlight that Roger stole from them. All right, you two, face the music. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Nick McHenry Spalding. <laughs> <laughs> 